Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2019 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. This Wrangler is showing just under 28,000 miles. If you would like to see a high resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report alongside a long list of technical data related to this vehicle's remaining tire life, brake pad life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. You'll also find a list of the different factory options fitted to this Jeep, of which there are many, and we're going to address some of those here today. But I'm also going to take you on an interior and exterior condition overview. Starting here on the exterior, you'll find this beautiful gray paint scheme. Can't say I've seen this spec on many, if any, Wranglers around here. Uh, it really looks awesome. I love the way that gray paint contrasts with all of the black accents throughout the exterior. And especially when matched with these beautiful 18-inch wheels, this is an upgraded option from the factory. Uh, they're in spectacular condition on all four corners. Of course, wrapped in these beautiful Nitto, uh, Nitto Ridge Grappler tires. Uh, they're in excellent shape as well, plenty of life remaining. And you'll find absolutely no imperfections on the outside of these wheels. <clears throat> they just look wonderful. And you can see there the little homage to the Willys Jeep. Uh, printed on each wheel kind of a nice touch and there's a couple of those hidden throughout the Wrangler here And I'm gonna show you all of those before we wrap up again All four corners look great here on the front face. You'll find the grill to be in spectacular condition uh, Another little homage to the old-school Jeep see the little grill. I'm just noticing that now uh, kind of a nice little Neat touch you can see here on the front bumper all the plastics look wonderful. No discoloration all of the lighting is in perfect condition as well. You can see there all the lenses just look perfect, no oxidation. Get another perfect wheel. Making our way down the side here, you can see the Sahara badge, Jeep badge, uh, all the chrome is in perfect condition. Again, you'll find in the hinges, no issues to be had. Uh, normally you might start seeing some corrosion there. Of course, this is a 2019, so you wouldn't expect that, but I feel the need to show you that this Jeep is really in perfect condition from every angle. Here in the rear, you'll see the spare wheel uh, is also in excellent condition and different tire fitted here, but of course, tons of life left in that one as well. See the tail lights, really cool design. And they've actually kind of found a sneaky way to hide this rear view camera. Uh, they kind of put it in the center and that actually holds uh, your spare wheel on or it acts as kind of a lock. You can see the place for your key to open that up. Of course, you can see your little towing accessories there in the back. Again, the bumper's in spectacular condition as well. And all of the paint on the vehicle's exterior is really wonderful. Of course, a nice upgraded option here. This hood uh, just looks so aggressive with all the different vents and tie-down points there. Uh, really awesome looking hood, and it contributes so much to this Jeep's aggressive exterior styling. And I absolutely love the way it looks. Of course, I'm going to show you this on the exterior and address it again as we move inside. You can see there, it does have the canvas roof. That's actually a power-operated convertible top. And I'm going to show you that here in just a couple minutes. So let's make our way inside, and I'll start looking around the interior. Be right back. All right, making our way into the interior. Of course, being a Wrangler, it's worth noting that these doors can be removed quite easily. Uh, and you can see there, they can lift out of the hinges and you have a different tie down there that can be removed and then the doors can all come off really giving you an awesome open air experience now as I had just mentioned to you before speaking of open air experience you can see here above me the mechanisms for the soft top operation I'm gonna start this vehicle right up and show you that operation because this is a really wonderful option this option is over four thousand dollars from the factory uh, and it's very uncommon also uh, so you can see here the power top controls. I'll just touch that once. Automatic operation. Uh, it's going to slide right open with no problems and we'll get back to that in just a moment. But as that top's opening, you can see here the interior is just in spectacular condition. I love the painted uh, trim inside to match the exterior. Really does complement the vehicle's styling nicely. <clears throat> All of the controls are in awesome condition. You can see the heated steering wheel button there. That's a great option to have in the winters in New England. Heated seats fire right up, get really hot really quick as you might expect. You can see those window switches there, kind of a cool design. And of course, all of the script on the switches and the plastic itself is just in perfect condition. Of course, push button start. Now uh, the key is in my pocket. Another homage to the Willys Jeep just there. You can see on the gear selector, a nice little image there, as well as one kind of hiding in the corner of the windshield. Uh, that's just another neat thing to point out. Of course, all the cup holders, you can see very clean. All of the plastics are in great condition. You could control your four wheel drive system just here. 
selecting different modes. And as we can see here, the top is fully open. It has been for some time now. Uh, just a wonderful little feature to have. Again, very expensive from the factory, so it's awesome to find that feature here on a used model. Only lightly used, as I mentioned, 27,950 miles. Many different displays to choose from here in this menu. Uh, really neat, different options. Gives you a lot of information uh, that you may be interested in and kind of contributes to a neat driving experience as well, especially when going off-road. I like having those different displays. So next up, I'm gonna pop the hood, give you a quick tour up there, and let you see the engine and the plastic surroundings. Be right back. So with the hood open now, we can take a look at the 3.6 liter V6. Idling super smooth, of course, this engine bay is spotless, just incredibly clean, clearly well cared for. From all angles, uh, really stunning. All of the inner workings of the motor there and all the accessories just look perfect. Absolutely no corrosion to be found. All the plastics have a nice shine to them. And again, the engine just runs super quiet, really smooth. Such a reliable power plant too. This is such a tried and true engine as you've seen in so many other Jeep models over the years. So next up, I'm gonna make my way back into the interior to show you a couple last features I'd like to address there. See you in a moment. All right, before I make my way into the back seats there, I just neglected to show you before uh, this Uconnect infotainment system. I'm so impressed by this system. Of course, that backup camera is one of the most high resolution backup cameras I've seen in recent memory. Just really looks phenomenal. Uh, and you can see even that other Jeep there in the shot, very high resolution, great colors. It really is impressive here in person. Uh, you can see different app controls here, and you can actually organize this screen as if it was a cell phone. So you see if you'd like to put the seat heating down there at the bottom, easily reconfigurable to your liking. Uh, that is such a neat feature, and I haven't seen that on other infotainment systems in the past, so I'm very impressed by it, and I think it could be really, really helpful uh, just during the, the daily life of owning one of these vehicles. That could really come in handy. Of course, excellent sound system. As I show you as I make my way to the rear, the sound system works equally well. Pardon me, I didn't unlock the vehicle in the back. There we go. The sound system works equally equally well with the doors on or off because they have cut the doors out of the equation. The speakers are actually just above your head there, uh, and it still delivers a really nice listening experience. Of course, you have a couple climate control vents for your rear passengers, window switches, as well as a wall outlet and some USB charging. And of course, there's a wall outlet there up front. Uh, just really nice feature to have, um, especially for charging for your rear passengers. I have plenty of legroom being six foot four. Uh, I can sit here comfortably. There's a small gap, but not, no doubt there's a gap. And I'm sitting behind where I would be driving. Uh, so really, anybody... Uh, any adult will have no issue fitting in here. And of course, that nice open top experience using the power top. And of course, let me scooch up and close that with one touch so you can watch this top operation through the back seat. Super smooth, you can see it folding itself into place. Again, such a rare option to find, especially on the used market. It's just a wonderful feature to have. Lastly, making my way to the cargo area course kind of a split tailgate setup you're going to open this one like a door and then lift the glass and there you'll find plenty of room for all of your cargo if you need any more room of course easily you can reach up and drop these seats down no problem and that seat does the same using these latches on the back and now you have so much extra room and can carry just about anything you'd need to. Of course, the roof can also be removed, but it's a bit more of a process being the power operated top, but it is possible. Of course, this has the Alpine audio system upgrade with that nice subwoofer there in the back. Uh, it's just really well optioned and truly a rare find, especially in such nice condition here in New England. If you have any further questions related to this 2019 Jeep Wrangler, Please reference the listing at alphacars.com and there you're going to find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.